Hi everybody, it's Karen Rogers. I'm back for more and ready for another interview. Today my guest is Guadalupe Curiel and I met her at school and she was one of my adopted daughters from school. She has now graduated, but ladies and gentlemen, introducing Guadalupe Curiel. <laughs> All right, Guad, one thing that I know about you is that when we were in school, you were always a go-getter. Um, I tend to be real overdramatic when I think about things that I have to do or I get stressed out, and you just seem to go right along and do what you're supposed to do. I know there was a lot of students that would be stressed. So how do you do that? How do you just do what you're supposed to do without any real drama? I mean, it's hard. It's hard at times. Um, it was stressful, but I just had to keep in mind that uh, I got to reach the goals I need to reach and um, how to go get it, regardless um, of how I was feeling. I'm like, no, I got to get to college. I got to do this and that. So just the potential I know I have, I had to just keep on going until I could reach my goals. Mm -hmm. And when did you graduate? 2015. Okay, so she graduated in 2015, and then she's went to JUCO. You're going right through your classes there, yep. working at the elementary school, and now a summer nanny. <laughs> and so I just really think that what you do is great. So keep Thank doing you. what you're doing and you. getting after whatever it is that you want. And okay. that <laughs> and that's for everybody. I, I, you inspire me. Oh, thank you. You, you inspired me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, what I'm going to have you do today, what we will do today, is I'm trying to learn Spanish. And so uh, Miss Curiel is going to be my tutor. And we're going to learn the numbers, the colors, and some basic animals. But mostly we're focusing on the colors. Los colores. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm going to hold up 11 colors, and Guadalupe is going to say them first. I'm going to try to say them exactly. See if you can beat me. Say them before I do. You might know them. And then we'll have a little test, and we will go through the colors again, only we'll make them into a sentence and add an animal. Los animales. <laughs> All right, are you ready for to begin? I'm ready, are you? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uno. Azul. Azul. Okay. Blue. Azul. <laughs> Dos. De qué colores eres? What color is this? Qué colores es Es este. Qué colores este? Verde. Verde. <laughs> Trace. Rojo. Rojo. Cuatro. Amarillo. Amarillo. Cinco. Rosado. Rosado. Seis. Gris. Gris. Siete. Anaranjado. Anaranjado. <laughs> Ocho. Morado. Morado. Nueve. Negro. Negro. Diez. Blanco. Blanco. And once, café, café, or oh, moran, moran, <laughs> café. Café is more um, used. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's see how you do. If, if you need to review, you can go back and review your colors, and now we're going to add with an animal. So, uno. And then fin is. See if you can beat me. El delfín es azul. Número dos. El cocodrilo es... El cocodrilo es verde. 
<risa> Número 3. El cangrejo es... El cangrejo es rojo. 4. El pato es... El pato es amarillo. 5. El cerdo es... El cerdo es rosado. Sí. 6. El elefante es... El elefante es gris. Número 7. El pez es... El pez es anaranjado. <risa> Número 8. El pulpo es... El pulpo es morado. Número 9. El toro es... El toro es negro. Número 10. Número 10. El perro es... El perro es blanco. And número 11. El mono es... El mono es marrón. Or, el mono es café. Good job. Hey. What do you think? You're awesome. Awesome. A little more practice, but you got the hang of it. Okay. I, I could understand everything. So oh, really? Yeah. Okay, I'll try awesome to job. use that because that's what you always say in conversation in Spanish is the monkey is brown and the dog is white. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for joining us. Um, or as I can say in Spanish, it's gracias por ver. And thank we'll you. see you next time. Guad, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Hasta luego. Hasta luego.